There's somebody here saying, oh God, help me. I want to hear your voice. And No, 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 no. You're praying wrong. You're praying wrong. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you actually hear God. The Bible tells us that my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So every believer actually hears God. And I've preached about it in a sermon a couple of years ago. But the only challenge is that we are not able to understand when God speaks. Our frequencies. I mentioned in that sermon. I think it's called hearing the voice of God. I preached it a couple of years ago. But our frequencies, our vibrations, the way we are reconciled in understanding to how God speaks or his ways revealed according to the submission of our heart toward his will, then are we able to really not miss when he says what he's supposed to say. God speaks every day and we hear him. We just don't understand what he speaks. It's like when you carry a baby, a toddler, or probably a newborn, and then you start speaking to them. If their ears are working, they're actually hearing. But the only challenge is that they have not yet developed the intelligence of interpreting language and therefore they're not able to understand what you're saying. But that does not mean that they don't hear you. They do hear you, they just don't understand. So it is with many of us that we hear God, but we don't understand. We don't understand. And in scripture, I've seen experiences where God comes to speak to people about something and they're not able to pick what he is saying. We saw voices coming for the sake of the people Jesus was with. And in some instances, they're not able to what? To hear or understand what God is saying. Because they are not positioned in the place of understanding him by language and in person. So if you're that kind of person who says, I'm struggling to hear God. No, on the contrary, you're struggling to understand what God is saying. Are we together?